I have an innocent brother on death row. His name is Luis Castro Perez, and he's been there for 11 years. You know, she's she's given up so much, man. These past 11 years have been pretty, pretty, pretty wild on all of us, you know. It's a rough road. <laughs> I met a lot of people just driving here at restaurants and gas stations. And once I got to death row, then of course I started meeting a lot of family members that we were all in this together. You know, we need each other. When I was trying to do it all on my own, I did a whole lot more crying. Now I talk to Delia, we have the art shows. My son does his artwork, which I'm so proud of. I was so floored when I went into your bathroom that it is covered with artwork. <laughs> he does his artwork to keep his mind straight. His newest venture has been these collages. We are no longer allowed to send them any art supplies. Mm -mm. They cannot figure out how he makes these things. You would swear this was all wood. They have both become extremely great artists. So we started doing little art shows around uh, around Texas, and and now the art shows have uh, have gone international. We've been able to meet the girls from Europe that have fallen in love with our boys and their artwork. People might say, "Why do you want to marry someone on death row?" I don't see him as a death row inmate. I see him as Charles Chucky Mamu, my friend, and my lover. Yeah. I guess you can find love on death row. Yeah. <laughs> Dear friends, we are gathered here in the presence of God and these witnesses to unite this couple in holy matrimony. I, Tasha, take you, Kenneth, to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I now pronounce you husband and wife. brought him home. Mm -hmm. He was away from home for 11, 12 years. So I wanted him home. We could talk about anything. We talked about everything and it was just open and honest communication. And we didn't have all the outside junk to clutter it up, if that makes any sense at all. So you have $3 left in the bank or so, you know, you're late going to the grocery store or whatever, so what? That's trivial. Enjoy the time that you have. And that's what we did. We enjoyed the time that we had. My heart and my mind and my soul is on death row with my brother. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just something that you have to make a choice. You know, I, I could have chosen to close my eyes and, and let my brother rot on death row, but it just... It just wasn't in me. You know, going into it, you kill somebody, that's the penalty. And you, know, you have to pay the, pay the price. There's a saying in prison, you got to get busy living or get busy dying, one or the other. So I, I guess that's what my family and I did. We had no choice, but you know, it was either to give up and die or, or keep plugging away day after day. But you know, two decades takes a heavy toll on people. Three things you never want to see a sausage being made, the legislature passing laws, or justice being dispersed in the criminal courts of this country. I think there's some truth to that. I hadn't really never thought a whole lot about the execution, just something that happens, you know. Uh, but obviously when you're there doing them, it really hits home. I think the first time that I uh, had to supervise one, just watching somebody that's perfectly healthy die is an unbelievable thing today, you just can't imagine. I bet if you go down to the courthouse square and ask 10 people, most of them won't know we're having an execution tonight. It's not something you talk about a lot. I think because there's not a really a real answer. You know, there's not a real black and white answer. And I kind of like things black and white. It's funny, there's a word in Spanish that's called terca. Terca it means you just keep on and keep on and keep on. You just keep on chewing on, you know, and like you're bugging somebody. And like, get away from terca, you know. And that's the way she is with the representatives and the senators and the governor and everybody else. Whoever else out there that wants to listen to her, she's going to make you listen. I'm blessed, man. Yeah, she's my hero, huh? And I feel like she's, she's the one that has kept us all together. And I'm glad you're doing what you do because it's, it's, it's important that, uh, it's important. If this were your little brother, you would do the same thing. Ah!